okay, how a hydraulic winch works. And what is a hydraulic winch, right? Um, well, let's say that you have a circle here. And on this circle, you have a cable that goes around it, a rope, a cable, chain. It could be different type of material, but it's a, let's say it's a cable. And it comes all the way down over here. And on the bottom, it has a load. It has a load that it needs to go up and down. And the winch either pulls the cable up, it coils up in the, in this circle, pulls it up, or it lets it come down. So and that's basically a winch, right? From over here, that's the center of it. It rotates and it makes it, it makes a, a cable go up and down. It makes a load go up and down. So hydraulically, uh, basically, in a lot of the applications. We have a hydraulic motor. This is this is the motor over here. And you have one line coming up this way. And you have the other line coming this way. Then you have the shaft of the motor. Depending on the application, a, a hydraulic motor often is not enough to accomplish what you need to accomplish for the hydraulic winch. So often is the case, not always, but often, and it also way depends on the application as well. It is coupled to a gearbox. And then the gearbox is coupled to the actual winch over here. And so you have the cable over here. Here's the cable coming down. And here you have this load over here, right? So that's the side view of the winch. That, well, the front view of the winch, and this is the side view of the winch, if you, so, if you say. That if, we, if we look at it this way. So over here, we have a hydraulic valve. Let's say this is the hydraulic valve. Let's say you have a three position four way. The center spool of the valve is open to the motor. The motor goes connected over here. And that's the connection of the motor in which the lines are open. Then you have the pressure line which is closed. And then you have your up and down arrows. So you have this here, you got this one over here, right? It's a spring center valve. And let's say you have a manual control for the sake of this exercise, sake of this example. And over here, you have the pump supplying fluid to this motor. So basically, this is the basic circuit. Of a of a hydraulic winch. Now the circuit can change. It can be. It can be. It, it depends on how big it is. You know. Let's say. Let's let's put in this example. You're you're lifting ten thousand pounds. You know. It can be one pound. It can it can be a thousand pound. It can be a hundred thousand pound. There are there are winches in different type of application. Marine applications. Very heavy heavy big machines. Big cranes. Let's say. Big crunch, it can work with a, with a winch, and it can lift a lot of weight, you know. Uh, smaller winches, you know, let's say a, a pickup truck or, or something like that, it, it can have some winches in there, and often some, some of them are, are hydraulics, you know, there is a lot of hydraulic even in the smaller applications, and I've seen just uh, flat out electrical winches, you know, but this is a hydraulic one. So for the hydraulics, this this motor over here often doesn't have the torque requirements or the uh, or the speed that you want uh, the winch to go up and down. Maybe you want 
certain number of RPM that you need to rotate the swing. So the, the speed of this load to come up and down may vary. Maybe you want a very low speed and then a certain application that you can take it up a little bit higher, you know. Often hydraulic motors, uh, you know, many of them, they don't, uh, once you put pressure on them, they can start rotating and minimum speeds that you have for a lot of motors, it may be 20, G 20 RPM, 40 RPM, 60 RPM, you know, and you might not want to be rotating this at 60 RPM, right? So you may want a lower speed. So you may have a gearbox over here that may go 4 to 1, 5 to 1, 6 to 1, depending on the, on the application, depending on the load, depending on, on how big your winch is. You got to find a proper gearbox that is going to give you a rate of speed and torque in relation to this motor to rotate the, uh, the, the winch at the speed that you want and be able to lift and lower the load that you want. So this is, there's a little bit of engineering over here, combination of motor and gearbox to get the application done. Another thing over here is that you need a braking system. Often hydraulic motors, not always, but many motors do come with a braking system. If, if you don't have a braking system uh, on the, this winch and the load is 10,000 pounds, it's pulling down on this winch and there's, there's no hydraulic brake over here, the motor is just going to break loose. The motor is going to break loose, the lines are open to the reservoir, all the oil is going to go down and this is going to be a f uh, pretty much a free fall that you have other than any mechanical frictions over here. This is just going to go down. So you need a locking mechanism over here. Uh, if, if your motor doesn't have it, if it's not integrated in the motor, maybe you want a, a, a locking a valve system to lock it in position and so it doesn't fall down. These lines over here are open to the reservoir. A, a closed center valve is not going to do the job. It's not going to do the work. You know, if, if you change the center and you just put uh, put a, a center valves over here, there's leakage, there's a, you don't want pressure uh, on the valve. You don't want the, the, the directional control valve to be doing the blocking of the system. You know, you got to do it over here in the pressure lines or integrated in the motor, depending on what motor it is, right? So you got to have a locking system of it over here so the load doesn't fall. It, it keeps it in position. Also, over here, uh, you might want uh, to vary the flow. You might want to vary the flow and you can put a direct uh, a, a variable control, a, a variable displacement pump with a control that you can you can control it, control it out of the pump or you can put a, a servo control if you want. Uh, you can put a, 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 a uh, the different different type of the uh, a, a needle valve a pressure uh, what is the name of it a pressure compensated needle valve <laughs> is that is that the right name that I'm talking about but you can you can put restrictions over here to vary the flow and there's different way different hydraulic ways on how to achieve the same the same uh, solution over here so that you can vary the amount of flow going into the motor. And so you can have different speeds on the motor. And so it goes through the gearbox and you have different speeds coming up and down on the, uh, on the winch. So that's the basic, basic, basic circuit on how a hydraulic winch may work. The circuit can change. It, it can be, it, again, you know, it depends on, on the loads. It depends on what, on, on, on what kind of circuit you want to have down here to control the flow. It depends on the on the motor if if the uh, if the blocking or I, I call it blocking valves you know uh, locking mechanism for locking system for the for the hydraulic motor but it depends on all of the items that you pick really it depends on the motor depend what gearboxes you have available depend what kind of pumps you have available and and so you can make this in very different ways but 
the 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 very uh, basics of the applications is going to be pretty much like this. Often you require a hydraulic valve. Often you have a hydraulic motor with a with a locking mechanism over here. You need a directional control valve. You need a pump, and you may want to have a way to vary the flow from that pump. So that uh, that is basically uh, how a hydraulic winch work. Normally, in uh, with the people that sell the hydraulic winches, normally they're going to sell the package that comes from. I will say from here, they will sell you this. Winch manufacturers, they're, they're gonna sell you this section over here and you have to supply the valves. They're not gonna supply pumps and motors and, and the, 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 the valving over here. Often, if, they, uh, if you ask them, they may give you a valve, uh, but I doubt it that they're gonna supply the power unit. You know, we're, we're talking about you need a hydraulic power unit to run it. And supply fluid through it and, and you need to supply the right amount of fluid you know to control that speed over here so often the winch manufacturers they're going to supply just this section over here so anyway guys uh, this is the video for today if you guys need any hydraulic components any industrial components information over here somewhere and we'll see you next time have a good day bye bye